America is not a racist country. Ladies and gentlemen, this story is about the police officer that you see in the picture. His name is Matthew Dages, and I did a video on this incident. He messed with this black man that was doing absolutely nothing, and he placed him under arrest and then falsified the police report. That's, that's what cops do in America. They will falsify police uh, reports and, and fabricate all these incidents on there that never happened. So he got busted. Well, he's back in the public eye again because he wants everybody to know he lost everything. Well, he can miss me because I don't care. But let's get into this story. Matthew Dages was accused of lying about the circumstances of his arrest of Amari Johnson on May 27, 2020, which created outrage in San Diego after a video of the arrest went viral. The La Mesa Police Department fired Dages months after the arrest. If convicted, he would face a sentence up to three years in prison. No, y'all ain't gonna put that man in jail for that. A jury and El Cajun debated for slightly over a day before finding the defendant not guilty on December 10th. Now they're talking about Amari. They're talking about him. According to prosecutors, Johnson was found with a smartphone, but no lighter, cigarettes, or other smoking tools. Dages was obviously aware that the area in which Johnson was standing was not a fee-paying zone. According to Deputy District Attorney Fiona Dunleavy, and that Dages had previously uh, had contact with individuals for ticket violations and led them to an area where he encountered Johnson. According to defense attorney Joshua Visco, the prosecution has not proven that Dages misled in any aspect of the report. Well, they said he lied all over that damn report. And it was also um, posted on Instagram. So on there it says, Officer Matthew Dages was working on a trial enforcement detail with other officers from La Mesa Police Department. Their purpose was uh, saturation to uh, contact everyone at the trial station. For a distance, Dages observed the subject uh, doing a, a hand-to-face motion, which he believed was smoking. Boy, it, it, they just make everything illegal for a black man to do, don't they? Wow. The same gesture was also observed by a witness in security camera footage when they just approached the subject and he was inquiring about the smoking the subject denied smoking and he moved on to a consensual conversation asking the subject if he lived in the apartments nearby the subject said yes initially then changed his answer to no once dages was asking which apartment dages then he was asking the subject, uh, he was asking for his trolley pass and the subject replied he did not have one. This resulted in the detention for invalid trolley fare. Okay, important to note the uh, subject was never detained, cited, nor arrested for smoking. During the detention for invalid 
trolley fare. The subject refused to cooperate, would not provide identification, attempted to walk away, and uh, struck Dages. You know, this is what he was putting him in the police report. Then resisted arrest. The subject admitted multiple times on body worn camera footage to pushing Dages. Given the subject combative and non compliant behavior, Dages uh, went hands on to keep the subject in a seated position while backup officers arrived. La Mesa's own use of force expert cleared Dages for this very low level use of force, confirming that the physical restraint was necessary given the subject non compliance and assaultive behavior, like repeatedly jumping up from the seat, the seated position to get inches from the officer's face. La Mesa use of force expert confirmed that the subject was aggressively resisting Dages and his behavior alone is what escalated the situation to necessitate the use of force. Other officers presented that they also um, described the subject demeanor as combative. And um, one officer stated she thought the subject was going to fight Dages. The police officer um, explicitly trained to use uh, force if necessary. Well, it's always necessary when you're dealing with, uh, <laughs> dealing with the black community, it always seems to be necessary. Well, Dages, when they went back to review the video, Dages is seen on the video shoving Johnson into a seated posture and then pushing him down once he stands up. Johnson allegedly balled his fist and took a blade stance. You, you see how they over exaggerate words when they're talking about us on a police report or if they're calling 911. You notice how they go way overboard in trying to describe everything as bad as possible. This officer is doing that. Gaslighting. All right. So Johnson was detained and charged with assault on an officer as well as refusing, delaying, and obstructing an officer before being released on a minor citation. The police department eventually announced that Johnson, who filed a federal complaint against Dages and the La Mesa Police Department, would not be charged. Mm -mm -mm. Dages said he lost everything after his reputation was destroyed on the Ingram, Ingram Angle. Sounds like porn, don't it? The Ingram Angle. On Tuesday, due to Black Lives Matter uh, demonstrators walking by, Dages stated he was forced to sell his home. Dages said, I described it to people uh, that, you know, he said that I've lost everything, to be honest. I've lost my career. My family was under this terror for the last year and a half now. Thankfully, we've come <laughs> out victorious on the end also on top of that my wife and i were set back about a hundred thousand dollars in legal fees so we've been uh put through the ringer in the name of justice he continued it was terrifying for my whole family it wasn't safe it wasn't a safe place for me to be in or for my family to be anymore you never think that your home is going to be somewhere that is going to be under attack. Wow, I'm thinking about Amir Locke. He was in his own home and he was killed. He finally concluded, my focus is getting back into uniform and that's something that I have focused on and still am doing. My wife and I are fighting to do that. We still are going through the court process to get me reinstated. 
to get my back pay and to get basically my life back and to really clear my name from any wrongdoing here. See, the problem was he told one story and the video was totally different from the police report. That was the problem. And that's why they only gave him a little minor charge and they had to let him go. All the stuff he put in the police report, it wouldn't stick because it didn't happen. We see this so many times, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this is just ridiculous. You know, that's a damn shame when you got a country full of cops and when they're dealing with black men, they will falsify a report, lie about the incident that took place, say they got a gun where they don't have no weapons and shoot and don't even know what's going on. But I'm glad this young man got an attorney and, you know, and he filed a complaint. He did what he was supposed to do. But, I mean, this is ridiculous. It is synonymous. If you see a cop that look like Dages and there's an incident, he will tell you the incident was far worse put things in the police report that never happened just to get you jailed. Well, I guess it was a good thing that somebody was watching and paid attention to the video and what he put in that report, because that's rare. Usually they'll let them get away with the lies. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.